New at noon, some big changes for the Atlanta Falcons. Just after midnight, the team fired head coach Arthur Smith. We're now joined by 11 Alive's Maria Martin, joining us from the Falcons headquarters there in Flowery Branch. Maria, some fans have been clamoring for this move, but how are players actually reacting to this news? It was so loud, Joe. I think maybe you were the loudest one. Maybe a loudest? little bit louder than me. Probably. Sorry <laughs> about that, folks. But how can you not get excited for Atlanta native Georgia Bulldog Anthony Edwards and his friends trying to win the fifth straight basketball gold for the U.S.? They got a test, too, from France. Aoko Funayama introduces us to the golden girl who has her eye on Olympic gold in Paris. Breaking right now, the Georgia Bulldogs have finally touched down at LAX. This is a live look at Los Angeles International Airport. There you see the plane with the markings, special markings dedicated to late legend Vince Dooley. The Georgia Bulldogs touching down in LA just a few hours after TCU landed earlier today. We're waiting for the team to get off the plane right now. Once players do start getting off, we're going to rejoin Maria Martin here a little bit later on in the newscast. But good news, Georgia's finally touched down. Here's to more touchdowns come Monday for the national championship game. That game might test some relationship <laughs> levels in I'm that sure. household. Just the daughters alone. Yeah. They seem pretty passionate. Mom and dad, fortunate for them, they get to go out to L.A. and watch yeah. the dogs and frogs go at it on the biggest stage in college football. <laughs> right now, the Texas horned lizard is listed as a threatened species in Texas. TCU is also the only college with the horned frog as its mascot. I Look, I'm a Georgia fan, love the red and black. I got to admit, those, those unis are sick. The black unis yeah. with the purple. Our producer Tiffany knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. We have to shout Pretty out cool. our producer Tiffany because she is a TCU grad and she's been putting up with Georgia folks here around the station all day. She's been a really good sport about it and it's good to learn. I certainly learned something from there. I learned something today. I think I still favor Bulldogs. Of course. Don't know why, I just do. Hard to believe, but it is week 10 of high school football. Our Team 1-1 crew will have another jammed packed show coming your way later tonight. Our game of the week, too, is going to be a great one, a rematch of a state title game from last year. Sandy Creek visiting Cedar Grove tonight. The Patriots winners of last year's 3A state title game. The game ending in controversy, you might remember, because of that goal line stand that resulted in video review being put in place for this year's finals. The last three meetings between these two teams were all decided by less than five points. We'll also have highlights from Westlake and Carrollton as USC commit Juju Lewis takes the field, as well as great matchups between Parkview and Newton and my alma mater, Woodward Academy at Jonesboro. It all comes your way tonight on Team 1-1 at 1115 right here on 11 Alive. But Thanksgiving is over. Many of us had our fair share of turkey. Joe, I don't know about you, but I think I went back to round two. Yeah, round, round two, round three, round four. <laughs> a little bit this morning. It's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> well, now it is off to the stores for one of the biggest shopping days of the year. Yeah, and so we know Black Friday is still very popular for bargain hunters, but it's not quite what it used to be. Even so, 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peter sharing with us this afternoon why some say it's still a tradition they can't pass up. Good rule of thumb, especially with holiday shopping, buy one, throw out three. Okay. So that'll keep you from adding hair? up. Do you really need it though? <laughs> we gotta do some soul searching and find out if we really need this Emily stuff. Emily and Joe, I think you guys would really get along. Yeah, maybe not so good on Wheel of Fortune though. But it is the we'll season see. of giving, hey, right? We need it's always a good time clean old fashioned hate. And here are two guys <laughs> I know will be watching what happens on the flats tomorrow night. And yours truly included. First uh, yeah. we got Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb, a dog, diehard die dog. Diehard, that's right. And then Crash Clark, of course. You're, you got to get revenge for those canes. It's been a, a long storied rivalry that goes way back. Obviously, Georgia has been very dominant in mm -hmm. recent years, but it's always fun to get together either between the hedges, on the flats. Yeah. Georgia, Georgia Tech, they call it clean old fashioned hate for a reason, especially if you grew up in the metro Atlanta area. A lot of mm -hmm. Georgia fans here hate Georgia Tech. Yeah. It's their number one rival, a lot of Georgia Tech fans. Fans hate Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah. Uh, let's take it to Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb, who is Mr. Georgia Bulldog himself. It's going to be a, a complete and thorough process. The Falcons have to get this right. They've had three years under Arthur Smith, which they've had the same record, 7-10. and 10. Yeah. Haven't made the playoffs since 2017. Arthur Blank said it himself, the owner. The results on the field spoke for themselves. They weren't up to what he promised Falcons fans. And he's hoping that with this new head coaching search and hire that will ultimately yeah. He'll have the final say that he hopes to make it up to Falcons fans. We'll see what happens. Divisional weekend has begun, and we have a great one going on in the AFC. Ravens, Texans currently underway. Reggie Chapman has an in-game update coming up next in sports. The odds were ever in their favor. The Atlanta Hawks hitting the jackpot this afternoon. 
Just two hours ago, we learned the team won the NBA draft lottery, landing the number one overall pick. This leaves the Hawks with some big decisions to make. Yeah, Atlanta spoiled with talent. You got Messi last night for Copa America, like you said. Caitlin Clark tonight. You got the New York Liberty, one of the best WNBA teams rolling into town on Sunday. We're thankful here in Atlanta. Yeah. Not really thankful for this heat, though. If you get to a game of this magnitude, each team wants it so much. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good game, much like Ohio State, where Georgia is challenged, mm -hmm. maybe by a team, a look that they haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. But I think, obviously, the dog got to come out on top, right? Yeah. Yeah. Atlanta Braves fans are chopping on tonight. The team getting back-to-back -back wins against the Phillies. Reggie Chapman joining me now. And, Reggie, the Braves bats really starting off hot this season. Yeah, have you seen enough to know that the Braves are win the World Series? Two out of 162? Yeah, I have. Might as well. I huh? mean, we know what the team has, and they've just reloaded and refired. I feel like they've added a lot of key pieces, and I like this team a lot this year.